We are making something that Western New Yorkers love, about loose hot dogs. We have Angelo Turco here. Nice to see you. Great to see you again. We have to get uh, formalities out of the way. Let's say hi to your father. Oh, hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. How are you? Nice to see you. Happy June 15th birthday, right? That's June right. 15th? That's right. Coming up. All right. We are making your famous dandelion green sauce, the yep. topping that goes over your steak yep. sandwiches. What else? We, uh, it's such a versatile topping. Uh, you could do it over Italian sausage, chicken. I even brought some veggie stuff that we could do with the veggie Pretty burger. Pretty much anything. Yep, yep. It just, it's, it's like spinach, like an Italian spinach. So it has a little bit of bitter flavor to it, but that's what the preparation is so important. It takes that bitterness out of it. Okay, I have to ask you, because if somebody hasn't eaten the dandelion sauce, can you actually just go in your yard and pick the dandelion leaves off that, or where do you get the dandelions? These are farm-raised dandelion. We get them from California, so they're available all year round, uh, which was never the case before. But now they, they, they actually grow, you know, acres and acres and acres. It doesn't seem right, does it? And, we all try and, to get rid of them, and this one well, farm yeah. is, is yeah. profiting off of growing dandelion yeah, yeah, weeds? And, and they're, they're so simple to prepare. You just you cut the stems off, and you just save the tender part, so they almost look like spinach when, when, without the stem. And then we just boil them in, in, in chicken stock and some certain ingredients. You'll probably see them up on the screen in a minute. Can, you, list. can you get these at, like, Gershio's or something? Yes, yes. Gershio's, Ger Gershio's carries them. In fact, we get a, a bunch of dandelions from Gershio's. But uh, a lot of the restaurant supply houses like Tarantino's and Gershio's, they carry them. But even Wegmans uh, in season, we'll have local, they'll have the local dandelion. Yep. What are some of the other spices that you have that we need? Uh, fresh grated Romano cheese. Mm -hmm. I've got salt, minced garlic. And from the shows previous, you know, I like to use the white pepper compared to the black pepper, so I, I brought the white pepper. Is that a little mild, more mild? Uh, actually, it's a little more pungent oh, than black pepper. It has, like a very, it has a very unique flavor, and it just goes great with a lot of the foods that we prepare at the stores. Okay, so we're going to start boiling the water. In our next segment, we'll get started in cooking that, and then in our uh, big segment, we're going to put it all together with the good stuff. That's right. All right, Angela, thank you so much. You're um, we are now going to head into our newsroom for our web producer, Emily Lenahan. And welcome back. We're with Angelo from Louis Hot Dogs. And I love what we're making today. I think I've said that like three times now. Dandelion greens. Dandelion greens are like an Italian spinach. Uh, as Victoria and I just talked about, they're, they're, we get them from California. They're farm raised. Okay. And the versatility of the green itself is just great. I mean, I brought some stuff along. I brought some, some ribeye steak that we do at the stores, mm -hmm. our chicken marinated chicken breast. Italian sausage and dandelion, great, and even and even our, some veggie burgers. Yeah, yeah, brought some veggie burgers too. I mean, that's what's so nice about the the, the greens, and that adds a real unique flavor to the the, the, the sandwich. Uh, normally, we do it at the stores, and with the sandwich, then we top it off with some fresh grated cheese, maybe a little honey mustard or hot mm -hmm. sauce, and and the customers love them. And what does it taste like for somebody watching? I mean, dandelion greens. It tastes greens like is... spinach almost. Okay. Uh, it has a little bit of a bitter flavor, a little more. Like uh, a arugula spinach? Yes, yes, like an arugula spinach. Very, very, <laughs> very good. Uh, and then the prep of the greens is very important because okay. it does take some of the bitterness away. Uh, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, you know, gently play. I've cut the stems off and I've washed them thoroughly. Okay. And, all we, and, the, and they're going to shrink down. They may look like a lot. So they're going to wilt a lot. Yeah, they're going to boil down to, you know, to, to see, so you can see them now. They're actually they're just, already. They're already boiling down. So we're going to let those boil down. And in and, and this process, this is where I'm going to add some chicken stock and, and use a good quality chicken stock. Okay. Uh, the cheapy stuff isn't, I mean, the, the good stuff isn't much more expensive. And then we're going to add some, a little, White pepper. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to do some crushed garlic. Okay. okay. And then we're going to do some, you know, whites, to just regular table salt or kosher salt, whatever you like. Okay. And all we're going to do, I'm just going to press this down a little bit. Okay. Okay, we're going to get these in the mixture. And we're just going to let them cook down. And we're going to cook them to about el dante. Okay, so we'll be cooking them. They'll be done in our next cooking segment. Vic yep. will be back in the kitchen with you. We're going to send things to break now when we come back. It's almost time for swimsuit season, so we're going to learn about an environmentally friendly, not to mention adorable, options for your little swimmers. What do you got for us? Well, oh, you know what? I bet you their mics in all those twirly whirlies that they were doing in the roller coaster kind of got all jumbled up. We'll try to get that straightened out and get back with you. For now, we're going to start cooking up um, our dandelion greens. And I have to say, at this hour, I know my mother in law, because I've had these through my mother in law, Dolly's at home right now, eating breakfast with us and thinking about going to the store to make these because the way you've made them makes them look delicious. And they smell great. They sure do. You, you, can, you really smell the chicken stock and the, you can. And, and the fresh garlic in there. 
Mm. And uh, they're just about al dente right about now. So what I'm going to do... So how long have you had them in there? I had them in there for about 10 minutes. Okay. Eh, 7 to 10 minutes. Uh, sort of on a medium heat. When you add the dandelions to the boiling water, you sort of turn down the heat to medium. Uh, you want to overcook them and get them real soft, but they're just about done right now. Are, are these more of a chewy kind of green than uh, others? They are. They're more, and, and especially with the way you prepare them. Uh, with, what we do is we keep them at our steam table at the restaurants. So it, it sort of gives, gives them a little body, makes them a little bit more firm than if they, you were to eat them right after you boiled them. Okay. Uh, and they're, then I'm going to pull a little bit out right now. Look at that. Beautiful look, green look, color. Look, what a beautiful color mm. on that. Isn't that nice? Yes. When they start to turn sort of a darker green, they're, they're done. See how, see how nice that is? I bet you you could use your sauce on pasta and it would oh, be delicious. See how nice that smells? You could <gasps> smell the chicken stock. And the garlic. And the garlic. And at this point, here's where we're going to add the grated Romano cheese. And, you know, season. Oh, just right on top with nothing just, else? Just, just right on top. Just season to like. Just like that. Okay, we're going to let those cool. Okay? Okay. And we've got a bunch of, I've got a bunch uh -huh. of stuff on the grill that I brought. Mm -hmm. You know, as you I heard them cooking. Because you and Joe always joke about it. I always bring my little gadgets on the show. Thank but I've got, we've got, the, we got some nice chicken breast that we're cooking on the grill. A nice Italian sausage. Mm. Even for the vegetarian, for your vegetarian viewers, I brought some of our veggie burgers. And they're great. Yeah, right when they come off the grill, we put the dandelion right on top of the veggie burger, on top of the sausage. I brought some really nice steaks. How, how did you start? And think of doing the dandelions. But that was one of the Your great. Family? That was one of the great ideas of my mom and dad. You know, they are right from Italy, and they eat a lot of greens yep. and veggies in Italy. And uh, we sort of mixed the American theme with the hot dog stands, with a little touch of the, you know, the Italian theme. And my dad always loved to eat the dandelions, so he naturally we just we just made them on, got them on the menu, and the customers love them. It's a nice, healthy alternative. You don't find them everywhere. A lot of places use spinach. But uh, we like the dandelions. We think they have a little bit more flavor. And uh, they're just a little more ethnic. I, I can't remember if you actually answered me when I said if I have, because I may have a few dandelions in my yard. Uh -huh. Would it be different? Would, are they edible? Are, are those, would they be a little bit more tough or something? They are edible. Um, you have to be careful. Now, the dandelion part that you use is the leaf. Uh, you don't use Not the flower. You don't use the flower. <laughs> <laughs> you don't use the flower, and it's very important that you cut the leaf off at the right point. You don't want to use the stems. The stems bitter. are where you get, they get the bitter. Exactly. Okay. So you cut those stems off. You wash them real good. Obviously, you don't use the flower, uh, and then you just boil them down like we were talking with the chicken stock and the garlic and the white pepper, and that's it. They're, they're so simple to make. They're just and they're great. If you were to saute them, kind of like the kale or something like that, would they work out that way as well? Perfect. Yeah, not, not, not instead of boiling? Yep, not only are they versatile with the foods you could top them with, but there's a number of ways to prepare them. You could boil them. Uh, you, you could saute them in olive oil and crushed garlic, if you like that flavor. Mm, love uh, that. The, the, with our stores, what we do is we do them in big pots. So, and then after they cool, we put them in these cooling containers, and we put them in our walk-in coolers. So it works better for us boiling them at, at, with larger quantities. Okay, you know, I, I, I think you've met Dolly, my mother-in-law. She makes the best greens, just regular greens, and she uses the crushed red pepper and then sautés them with the olive oil and garlic, lots of garlic. Wow. And it is fantastic on anything. You could put it on ice cream, I bet. It would taste okay. Yeah, I, I haven't met her, but I would like to meet her after hearing that. Absolutely. I'll bring you over. <laughs> okay. Come to dinner. Um, tell us about uh, Louise, because you were telling me before, you, the first time in history you opened the Sheridan early? Yes. In 62 years, we opened up on March 14th. That's the earliest we've ever opened. And business has been booming. It's been great. It's been real nice. It's nice to get an early start because not only in Buffalo, but you never know what the summer is going to be like. You could have a rainy summer. You could have a cold summer. Yeah. So it's nice to get in there early and get the, you know, the, get the people back, you know, acclimated to coming back. It's your attention to your restaurant and your food that brings everybody back. All right, we're going to take a break okay. right now. Okay. When we come back, we're going to try the greens on the, on the veggie burger for me, okay. and then we'll also do our omelet. Yep. For our second, second helping. Help. Yes. We are going to take a break, but when we come back, we're going to talk to that Kenmore crazy roller coastering couple when we come back with Matt.
Just getting my plate together because uh, Angelo is going to make me a veggie burger with dandelions. We're also, for our second helping, is going to do the omelet. Absolutely. All right. As we talked about earlier, Victoria, the, the versatility of these greens are so nice. Uh, I know you like your vegetarian stuff. I got a nice yes. veggie burger here for you. Now all we're going to do is we're going to put it on the roll, and they're so easy. You just look at, at look at how beautiful that looks. Isn't that nice? That's beautiful. We put that right on the, we put that right on the burger. Okay. At the, and it could, it could be a little sloppy. Can you ask and get um, get that put on anything? Get the greens put on anything? Yeah. Yep. At look, the restaurant. Look, look how nice that is. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Look how look how beautiful that looks. Okay. And it goes it goes great on the veggie burger stuff. Uh, even even like with an Italian sausage. You get the okay. sausage, it comes right off the grill. We have a minute left. If people are going to make a, an omelet with the greens, do you chop them up first? You just put them together on a thing, or do you just keep them like that? We keep them just like that. And you just throw eggs in there? That's all we do. In fact, I'm going to do it right now. Look at that sausage <gasps> with the dandelion. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. I'm going to set that over there like this. Look and at this. And I'm going to be a little daring, Angela. Sure. I'm putting Absolutely. a little of this cheese Absolutely. on there. Look at the nice sausage and dandelion. And that. Mm. We, got our, we got our grill going on high here. Mm. Okay. And right with the dandelions already in the pan. Mm. Okay. okay. I'm a walrus. Yep. We add the eggs. Okay, right, right, to the, right to the dandelions. I'm a walrus. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm going to do that at lunch hour today. <laughs> Look at that. Dandelions in the pan already cooked. Eggs. That's it? That's it. That's it. You could uh, sprinkle a little. I brought some Fontina cheese. I'm bringing my friends in. We have to share this, and they have to share the glory of the greens. The, Come font on, guys. the, the Fontina cheese goes really well with the, with the breakfast omelet with the mm. dandelion. Fontina, you could use some fresh grated Romano. Looks awesome. That is terrific. It smells All like right. a, a Locations, real quick here. at the end. Uh, our original location, Tonawanda Sheridan Park. Elmwood Avenue, which you know well about, mm -hmm. our Main Street store downtown. We opened in Huntersville, North Carolina last year, and we're opening in September, Charlottesville, Virginia. Oh, you're terrific. Angela, thanks for joining us. All right, tomorrow, Chef Gretchen's in the house. She's going to be making something sweet. And we'll go behind the scenes for the Bison's historic home stretch. And some gardening tips just in time for the holiday weekend.